Hey guys, welcome to another product showcase video. Today's product comes to us from SIG and this is their USB over IP. Okay, let's have a look at some of the features itself on the box. Uh, eliminates any USB distance limitation by utilizing wired or wireless LAN. So you can use this with a uh, wireless router or with your typical 10100 uh, LAN uh, setup. Supports multifunction printer features for uh, several different types of printer scanners. Uh, IE802.3 compliant 10 slash 100 megabit per second Ethernet port. Network protocols it works on are TCP slash TP, uh, UDP, or DHCP. Isynchronous features, perfect for audio video applications. Easy to set up, smart configuration software. So that's about it for the box, otherwise it's a fairly plain box with just uh, SIG's insignia and uh, website info on it. So let's open it up and see what all it comes with. Okay, fairly simple to open. You'll notice that it's very well packaged in a protective uh, case. They also put in this like non-crush uh, cardboard insert here to protect the uh, contents itself. Have a few accessories here as well as a disc and the uh, operator's quick installation guide. Let's see what's in the box here. This must be our power. Yeah, that's our uh, 110 power to uh, operate the device. Okay, fold up rundown of uh, what you get with it. The manual, the uh, driver disc, uh, four non-skid feet for it, the uh, AC power supply, as well as the unit itself. Let's have a closer look at the unit. There's a couple of lights on the front of it that'll show you power and activity of it. On the back of it, you can see the uh, plugins for it, your RJ45 jack to connect to your network. Four USB connectors, all including LEDs with them to show when they're connected, as well as your AC power plug-in. And there's a very small hole on the side here that is your uh, reset button for it. So if you decide you want to set it back to its defaults, or maybe you uh, changed your network and forgot what uh, IP address you gave it, what have you, it's very interesting that they made it look kind of like a book, like we've seen with uh, some external hard drives. So you technically could set it up, you know, like a book in your network or lay it flat, however you want. Um, the connectors on them, as far as I can tell, these are USB 2.0s. I imagine they're 1.1 compliant and 2.0 compliant. They are not 3.0 connectors. Uh, so keep that in mind if connecting uh, external hard drives or something where maybe speed is an issue but for printers, scanners, uh, most backup drives and stuff, they're going to be plenty good. So let's uh, hook this up to the network and see uh, just how hard it is to configure. Uh, you're probably wondering why it comes with a driver disk, being that it connects right to the network. That's to get to the uh, software that uh, will let you change the settings on it and uh, allow you to change your uh, IP settings, uh, gateway settings and stuff for it. To configure it for your network so you do need to pop this into one of the computers on the network get it configured to uh, set up to your network okay we have the uh, software open here as you can see it finds my mass storage device which is uh, actually my little USB uh, memory stick I just uh, plug that into the back of the device here to uh, just have something to read to see if uh, it would pick it up now if I go into uh, my computer, we can see that uh, the USB disk is right here, which is my uh, USB drive, and there's my files for it. So uh, very easy to add stuff to it using the uh, USB over IP admin page here. You uh, basically minimize it, minimize it I should say, and you can see it's down here in the uh, tray itself. So you can simply open it back up again when you want to uh, configure it and add more devices or whatever to it. Um, so that's the reason you need to have a, uh, at least one computer connected 
to the network to uh, set up the software, put the software on it for this device so that uh, you can configure the different devices for it and set them up. But uh, very easy to uh, connect. We just uh, simply plugged in the uh, power cord and the, uh, let me see if I can turn the light on here for you, maybe that'll help. Uh, the power cord and the RJ45 jack and then just plug in your USB, USB device be it a printer or external hard drive or in this case a uh, thumbnail drive or what have you but uh, very simple to configure very simple to add to your network that's going to do it for this product showcase we want to thank SIG for providing this item for our showcase once again this is their USB over IP and uh, I want to thank you for watching